Hello and welcome to our virtual information evening for fourth and fifth year parents. We hope that in doing this format, this time in the current circumstances, this will support you and your child in making important decisions about their choices as they move from S4 into S5 or S5 into S6. Thank you for submitting questions in advance. This has really helped us as we've been able to tailor make the presentation to suit your needs. And don't worry too much if you don't hear your own specific question answered. That will appear in the frequently asked questions leaflet that we're aiming to put up on our website afterwards. So during this presentation, you will hear from Mr. Mrs. Forbes and Mr. Moore, who are both deputy head teachers, and from Mr. Campbell, who's the S4 year head. And you'll hear their voices over a PowerPoint, which hopefully you will find useful. Our school mission statement talks about delivering high standards of learning and teaching in a supportive and nourishing environment. And our main aim is to ensure that all children meet their true potential by developing positive attitudes to, to learning, self-worth and building resilience, enabling them to develop skills to prepare them for later life. So we do hope that in choosing course choices that are appropriate and they meet your child's needs, that they can become equipped with the skills, the experiences and the qualifications which will allow them to meet a sustained and positive destination, whatever that may be, whether it's employment, further or higher education. So I hope that you find the presentation informative and helpful. Hello, I'm Mrs Forbes and I'm going to take you through the next three slides on courses and levels and learning opportunities. S4 pupils who are moving into S5 next session are asked to choose five courses. When making these choices, it is important to consider courses currently being studied in S4 and the progression route that these may offer. Pupils in S4 who are currently studying courses at National 3 level should choose courses at National 4 level for S5. Similarly, S4 pupils studying National 4 level courses should choose courses at National 5 level and pupils currently studying at National 5 level should opt for higher level courses for S5. It may be that some S5 pupils will study courses at different levels such as a mix of National 4 and National 5 courses, or a mix of National 5 and higher courses. If any S4 pupil would like to choose a new subject in S5, they should still choose courses that correspond with their level of study in S4. Any pupil requiring help with this can ask their teachers or your head for more information about the course and which level of study is most suitable for them. S5 pupils who are moving into S6 for next session are asked to choose four or five courses. Many pupils choose four courses. However, some pupils choose five courses in S6 because they need to obtain qualifications in specific subjects for their chosen career pathway. Similarly, some choose five because they want to broaden their knowledge and understanding and skills in different curricular areas. S5 pupils should consider their current level of study to help them make their option choice for S6. So, pupils currently studying at National 4 level should choose courses at National 5 level. Pupils currently studying at National 5 level should choose courses at higher level. And pupils currently studying at higher level may wish to choose courses at advanced higher level or study other courses at higher level in S6. It is very likely that many S6 pupils will have courses at different levels, such as a mix of National 5 and higher courses, or a mix of higher and advanced higher courses. The senior school offers many learning opportunities for pupils. You will see from the option choice form later in this presentation that we offer a wide range of courses in school at different levels. There is scope for pupils to build on prior learning and continue to progress in various courses, as well as an opportunity to learn something new to develop and enhance their skill set. Whilst most of our pupils choose courses offered in school, 
there are other options for pupils who are seeking other experiences and qualifications that link directly and prepare them well for their chosen career pathway. Pupils have the option of choosing a course at college. This is in column 5 of the option choice form. Holyrood is part of the School College Partnership Programme with Edinburgh College and our pupils can choose from a wide range of courses that take place at college on a Tuesday and Thursday afternoon. Pupils must apply and be accepted onto these courses by the college. S4 and S5 pupils will be given all the necessary information about making an application from the year heads and are also supported by our careers advisor, Carla Hart. Pupils also have the option of studying a course at a neighbourhood school if we do not offer a particular course or level. In our experience, this is generally for pupils taking courses at advanced higher level or in the case of a pupil wishing to study another modern language at higher level. Any pupil wishing to do this should let their year head know. Some pupils may also wish to undertake a work experience placement during the session. S6 pupils taking four subjects have time that could be spent completing a work placement. Pupils should speak to the year head to find out more about what they need to do to arrange this. Hello, my name is Mr Moore. I'm Deputy Head Teacher at Holyrood High School. My role in supporting coursing is to take the information you give me from completing your course choice form and create the school timetable. Please take a look at the form. This differs slightly from the form you completed in December. The course choice form shown shows courses available in five columns ranging from National 4, National 5, higher and advanced higher levels. We also have a number of courses offered as National Progression Awards as well as the Duke of Edinburgh Silver Award. These courses are recognised by employers, colleges and universities. You will normally select a subject at higher level if you already have National 5 or at advanced higher level if you already have the higher. You will have a good idea from how you are currently doing with your subjects this year what subjects you wish to do in the new session. The subjects you select should link to your career aspirations. You will be sent a link to complete your course choice form using a Microsoft Forms survey. You will also receive a link to the school website where you will find information about all the courses offered. You will also get advice from your subject teachers and your year head. As with the ZAP form you have already completed, you should select a first and second choice for each column. There can be occasions where a course may not run. This can be due to poor uptake or staffing changes. Please make best use of and read the course choice handbook that is also on the school website. Further information on careers can be gained from the My World of Work website and Carla Hart, our school careers advisor. Please remember that higher psychology is only available to S5 pupils to select as one of your subjects in S6. To take psychology, you should be expecting to gain a good grade in higher English this year. All pupils in S4 and S5 should complete a course choice sheet planning ahead for the next session. S4 pupils should select courses from all columns. S5 pupils may have a study column only if this is agreed with your year head. Courses you select should be the ones that will take you on to a sustained positive destination such as college, university, an apprenticeship or other employment. If you select college in column 5, please also state what college course you wish to take. College courses take place on Tuesday and Thursday afternoons. Information regarding the college courses on offer can be found using the website below. Although you select courses at this point of the year, please remember you will be able to make some changes when you get your SQA results in August if this is required. Hello everyone, my name is Mr Campbell and I am the current S4 year head. I am going to talk you through the supports on offer for your child during this important phase in their school career, as well as how to access supports online whilst at home to help make informed choices. 
Course choices is an exciting time for our pupils, but it can also be a time of uncertainty, particularly in the senior phase when pupils are making decisions about their future. We have an established and successful framework for providing our pupils with the appropriate support throughout the course choice process. This helps to ensure that our pupils have the skills and knowledge to make informed choices that will help them to continue on a pathway towards a positive destination beyond school. We recognise the need for our pupils to be accessed advice and guidance at all points throughout the process and as such have a range of supportive measures available which are outlined on this slide. All pupils will be offered a one-to-one -one appointment with their year head to talk through prospective coursing. Given the situation we find ourselves in at the moment, this can take place virtually or via email. Pupils will have an opportunity to talk through any questions they might have as well as gain some advice on appropriate coursing to suit their particular career path or skill base. In addition to this, our school's careers advisor, Carla Hart, is also available for one-to-one -one meetings throughout the coursing process and pupils can approach her directly using the email address linked in this slide. In addition to the above, pupils might also wish to speak to individual teachers about subject-specific coursing. This will help them to gain an insight into specifics of each course and what is available qualification-wise. Whilst at home, our pupils can be preparing to submit final course choices for the senior phase. We would recommend that pupils research each course they intend to study fully so they have a clear knowledge and understanding of course components and what will be expected of them in order to gain the qualification. Our course choice booklet outlines each of our subjects in great detail, allowing for informed choices to be made. Pupils should read this fully before submitting final course choices. We would also recommend that our pupils use the My World of the Work subject choices tool, which allows them to input up to six different courses on the website before exploring where these courses might lead to. Pupils will be able to investigate potential career paths, as well as look into job profiles, potential modern apprenticeships, in addition to courses at college or university. For our pupils in their final year of school, we'd always recommend checking entry requirements for college and university courses before making final choices. This can be done using the Edinburgh College website by searching for an appropriate course and then looking for entry requirements. For university courses, pupils are encouraged to search using the UCAS website and use the filter tool to find out entry requirements for each individual course. Some courses have specific qualifications required to gain entry, so it's best to check if you have a particular career path in mind. If our pupils are in any doubt about their course choices, we strongly advise them to contact either the Year Head or Carla Hart for further advice. This brings us to the end of our digital presentation of Coursing for the Senior Phase. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time to listen, and we hope you find the contents useful and informative. We recognise that parents and carers may have additional questions which weren't covered in this presentation and would ask you to look out for a frequently asked questions document which will be issued shortly in the coming days. If you have a specific query which you feel hasn't been covered via the above, then please get in touch with the school and someone will respond to support. Pupils will have an opportunity to change their coursing in August if required, shortly after SQA results are issued. Finally, we hope you feel confident in supporting your child through the course choice process. We understand that this can be a difficult time and we point you in the direction of the website previously mentioned for further supports. Thanks again.